You guys welcome back to the channel so a couple weeks ago i went on a big grocery shopping trip and i was kind of talking about our fridge because it has been a struggle lately like things have just not been working very well in there i have organized it but i feel like i keep organizing it in the same way and obviously that's just not gonna change anything and not gonna work really great so i kind of brainstormed some problems i tried to figure out some options on how to fix those issues which i'm sure a lot of us have so i'm going to be reorganizing my fridge today so what we're gonna do is start by pulling everything out of the fridge i'm going to actually like deep clean it of course because when you have everything out why not take the opportunity to deep clean everything then i had actually ordered a couple different containers i went to also TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and got some different containers that I feel like are going to help out the situation a lot. And I'm kind of getting a little bit creative with some ways that I'm doing things in here. So we have a lot to get done. This fridge is going to feel so much different once we are done. So let's go ahead and get into it. I wanna hear you say yeah. First of all, let me tell you, we have lived with this fridge with all of the new organization for about a week now, and it has been amazing and actually so different than how we have had it organized in the past. And it really is not going to be overly organized with bins or anything, but everything that got added to the fridge was very intentional. So I 100% recommend using the method that I use today and customizing your fridge to your own needs so to start out i am just pulling every last thing out of the fridge and putting them on the counter in categories and that way it'll be a lot easier to kind of organize and put things away once i'm ready We actually got this fridge secondhand from Facebook Marketplace sometime last year. I can't remember exactly when, but I have loved it so much. However, when we got it, I just kind of put everything how and where we had it in our previous fridge. And so from the start, this fridge has not served us the very best. I continue to love this fridge because I know it had a lot of potential, but it's just not been working the best for us. And it's totally not the fridge's fault. I think I just needed to intentionally customize my organization to this new fridge and not just copy and paste the organization that I had in our previous fridge because this is a totally different fridge and it's really set up a lot different than our last one. As you can clearly see, my fridge was in desperate need of a deep clean, and that's okay because when life gets busy, your attention goes elsewhere, and the other things kind of fall to the wayside a bit, and there's really no sense in beating yourself up over it. I guarantee if you see someone that is amazing at something, something else in their life is lacking. So for example, if you see someone that is incredible about being diligent in going to the gym every day, healthy meal prepping, all that stuff, another area of their life is going to be getting less attention. Or someone whose house is immaculate 100% of the time, another area of their life is not getting as much focus. So I think you kind of understand what I'm saying, but you can totally have whatever your priority is, but it will come at the cost of something else. And that's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's just reality. So next time that you're falling short in one area, give yourself grace and also more understanding. So in this case, yes, my fridge is a mess, but a perfectly clean fridge was not worth missing extra time with my kids this week or maybe having to get takeout because my time was taken up by cleaning my fridge. I really just think it's so important to find your priorities and then just be confident in them. Don't give yourself any guilt only understanding and i think that will just give us all so much more peace i totally used to be the kind of person that would try to do everything and not take anything else off my plate 
and it really wore me down so terribly. And so now I'm trying my best to be a lot more intentional with things and a lot more understanding of myself. Like if I'm going to do something, something else is going to have to give because I can only fill my plate so full until it's just going to topple over. I need to take something else if I want to put something else on. So to deep clean my fridge, I am just wiping most of the areas down and then I am taking a few things out and washing some in the sink that needed a little bit more of an intense clean, but deep cleaning really does not have to be overdone. I've definitely learned over the years to work smarter and not harder when it comes to cleaning. The old me would totally have pulled out every single shelf to clean it and wash everything in the sink, but it really wouldn't have made any difference other than it would have taken a lot more of my time and energy. So when I share these videos, I want to not only give you motivation, but also share and encourage you to find different ways to make homemaking not only easier, but also a lot more enjoyable. Now we are going to get into the fun part. We are going to go ahead and grab the bins and I'm going to basically just kind of dry fit them. I don't know if that's a thing, but basically I'm going to set them in the fridge, not with any food, just so I can kind of see like how everything's gonna fit. I might take shelves out, I might move them around. I'll kind of turn you around and show you actually how we've had it in the past, like how we've been organizing it and how it has not been working. All right, so how we've had things in the past, I have eggs up here, a lot of like your condiments, pickles, peppers, like or jarred peppers, things like that up here. And I have them on a Lazy Susan, I don't love that. I mean, I love that you can like access things easy, but on the inside, because this is not a really tall area, things kind of fall off all the time. Also, it wastes every single corner of the shelf. Here, I kind of go back and forth. In the back, I have a lot of extra milks because we just go through a lot of milk. Here, I feel like I kind of have some leftovers on this back shelf, but a lot of times I actually push that forward so that I can have more height here. A lot of times we have like prepped produce and things like that. This is kind of either prepped produce or randomness. My veggie drawer, deli meats and cheese, things like that. This is pretty much not utilized mostly other than just overflow that can actually fit here and still be able to allow the fridge to close with the doors. Over here, I just have some more condiments like we have soy sauce, maple syrup, random things like that. This is filled with condiments. 
up here is more like breakfast stuff like we have jams and i have yeast for making bread and things like that and then i know you're not supposed to do this but we always have our milk over here in this and it's always annoying to have to like get it out of here this is just where it always fits so we are going to be changing basically everything up also down here this is usually where we put like the bubbly or Lacroix flavored sparkling water and then also in this section up here we have emma's dog food and then over here is pretty much where we put like individual yogurts or like snacks and things like that for the boys and then i try to have apples and maybe like some little cuties up here so like i said we're going to change everything up so let's see what we do Okay, so these are the different bins that I got. I got a few different things, but I was like very specific. I didn't just go buy random bins. I bought everything like specifically for a certain purpose, which I think maybe has been a little bit of my issue before because it was like, oh, like go get bins and bins will fix everything. Unless you have like a specific purpose for each specific bin, it's just not gonna be the best. So this one is going to organize our cans like the LaCroix and Bubbly and things like that. Instead of taking up an entire drawer for them and standing them up, I can just slip this into the fridge. And I think this is going to be a way better use of space and open up that whole entire drawer. These are the same size and everything, but these I'm going to be using to replace the Lazy Susan with like all the condiments and things like that. I'm hoping, hoping that this will work, but basically my thought is this way I can just pull this out of like the top shelf and get into all of the condiments and it won't waste any space because it is like a tall square bin. I think it'll keep things contained and I think it might just be the best idea. I was really struggling with condiments because we have like minimized the condiments but also we still have like a thousand, I don't know. Anyway, these ones I got also for condiments but it's gonna be for like pickle jars and jarred peppers and all that kind of random stuff just so that it's something a little bit bigger that might fit like those bulkier jars and if needed i also have a lot of like mason jars with lids that i can decant like any jarred items into if i need them to fit a little bit more organized in there and like fit a little better and these items I am probably most excited about because our milk situation has been a mess. It's annoying because I know we're not supposed to keep the milk in the door of the fridge, but that's just what we do because that's where it fits and that's where it works. But then we have all the extra milks, like all the backup milks in the back of the fridge. So anytime we run out, we have to reach in the back and grab it and like basically pull everything else out up front of it because I don't know, it's just, it's not working. So decanting the milk is not to be extra. It's not to be aesthetic. It's it's not anything like that it's just to make it more functional and i'm hoping that this will work so i did get two different options i got this glass jar it's like tall and so it doesn't take up much room in the fridge which i really like this one is plastic but this one came actually in a pack of two and it came in two different sizes so this first one is i believe a gallon and then the big one on the outside is one and a half gallons and they all have spouts. So basically I can just fill them up and I won't have to worry about them until we need to refill it. And then you can just dump the milk in there. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure what one I'm gonna use. Whatever one I don't use, I am going to return. It can't be worse than it is now. It's been very annoying. <laughs> I ended up going with a tall glass drink dispenser because I really liked that it was glass. I also love that it took up less surface area in the fridge and so far it has worked out better than I even expected. 
Everyone has loved it so much. And as for the expiration date, I'm actually just writing that on the very top of the lid with a dry erase marker. So I can change that out every time we change out the milk. And then I think about once a week, I'll probably end up just washing it out to make sure that there doesn't get like any residual yuckiness in there. But also I wanted to mention this does not leak or drip, which is definitely one of the things that I was most concerned about with this situation. If anyone else has been struggling with this issue, I'm gonna have this link down below along with everything else that I'm using in this video but I really cannot recommend this enough. Let me know, do you keep drinks in your fridge? Our family loves sparkling water, or most of our family, I guess, loves it. But I really hate that the drinks were taking up an entire drawer prior to this. So this can organizer has been so amazing in really giving us a lot of space back while still giving us all the organization that we needed. Cheese or whatever we have other olives i a lot of times have pickles like there's just a lot of different things that we have i would like to put them in a container so you can just easily grab them in and out if i just leave them in the containers they came in i can fit two but if i put them into like mason jars i can fit four really nicely i got this pack of white mason jar lids from timu you can get them with wide mouth or the regular mouth and then these are so cool i have a whole roll of them but i ordered them off amazon a while back and they're these labels so what you can do is you can put them on whatever you want in your fridge or whatever it's perfect for leftovers you can write on them and then they literally just wash off like disintegrate in the dishwasher or as you're washing them by hand they are awesome and so that would be my plan for this is like I can just put the lid on write what they are and what the expiration date is and stick that on the lid and then whenever it empties then I'll just wash them as I would you know like if I was reusing this jar or anything I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see how it goes this is all just trial and error but like I said things have not been working so we're gonna change things up. Ugh, these always make my mouth water like instantly. So, so good. We can definitely get carried away with focusing too much on aesthetics, but I do think that maybe it started out with practicality and we ended up going a little overboard toward the aesthetic side. But with saying that, some things that are aesthetic can also be very practical, but that really depends on the individual or person. I know, for example, my mom, whenever I redid her pantry several months ago, she had always thought that decanting your items into individual containers was just for looks and not really a practical thing. But after we did that to her pantry, she said that she has realized it's definitely not just for looks. It really has made her pantry so much more functional for her and a lot easier to manage. And I've definitely felt the same in my pantry or other areas that I've done things like like that too so another example of that is like decanting my milk that's something that is definitely more aesthetic than a milk carton but it's something that probably won't be practical or helpful to me when my fridge is less full and the kids are out of the house but to our family right now in this moment it really is practical and so helpful so i am letting go of aesthetics in my fridge and i'm truly just focusing on function and intention and it is actually working beautifully and if some things look aesthetically pleasing then that's just the cherry on top i wanted to go over my full process for organizing my fridge but not in a this is exactly what I use type of way and more in a this is how I got here type of way. 
That way you can truly customize your own fridge in a way that will really work for your own home. So to start out on this process, I sat there and thought about my fridge and I wrote down any issues or struggles that we had in it. And from there, I determined if we already had an organization tool set up for the problem. And then that's when I started getting creative with this process. So you guys know I love sharing examples to kind of get my point across. But for example, in this situation, condiments were a problem in our fridge because they were totally taking over the fridge. And then my next thought was, yes, we do already have organization for condiments in place, the Lazy Susan. And then from there, I decided if there were issues with the Lazy Susan and I realized there absolutely was, like I didn't love the wasted corner space and how difficult it was to get the items in the center just because the shelf wasn't very tall. So by breaking down the problem areas and starting from scratch, I was really able to rethink each area and allow my mind to kind of come up with new stored solutions that could serve us a lot better. And that way we're not just continuing to do the same thing that we have always done that clearly wasn't working. We are all finished with the fridge. It looks amazing. There's definitely um, like a good amount of space for when I meal prep and when I food prep and stuff like that, which is perfect. Cause I feel like whenever you organize things, you don't want to organize it to the brim. Like you want to have empty space and that allows for life to happen because it definitely is going to. So I'm gonna turn it around, show you the final product of the fridge. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know anything you would have done differently, any other ideas, anything that's worked incredible in your fridge, I would love to hear, but I have really high hopes for this. Let me turn you around, you guys can see what you think. All right, finally, we are going to break down exactly how I organize this fridge. Starting on the top shelf, we have our eggs and butter, cream cheese like that. And then on the top right, I of course have all of our condiments, but they are easily accessible inside of those bins. Some of them I decanted to fit a little bit better. And then on the second shelf, currently we just have those drinks, but I also saved a lot of space. And this space is going to be for our food prep that I do every single week when we have a little bit more produce. And then on the right of that, we have that big jug of milk that dispenses it really easily and conveniently for the kids and really just anyone that needs to get it. We also have our uncooked tortillas and on top of that is a great space that we can store any of our leftovers. They are front and center and not going to be going bad or being forgotten about during the week. And then on the bottom left shelf, we have any like dinner items. We have like some pasta, some tofu in there. In the drawers, we have one that's like our deli meat and cheese drawer. The next one is our fruit drawer. And then down in those big bottom drawers, I have one side that's going to be kind of for the boys' school lunches because we're getting back into that season. And then on the other side, it is this huge drawer and I can fill it full of all kinds of veggies. This fridge organization has been amazing and I feel like this is the first time that I've gone into it with this much intention. I feel like it's definitely not overdone, but it's just what we needed and nothing more. So I hope that this gave you lots of ideas for your own fridge and if you end up reorganizing your fridge send me some before and after photos on facebook or instagram i would love to see what you've been up to and stay tuned because the next video is going to be slow homemaking and i'll kind of chat about that a little bit more in the video but it's something that's been on my mind for the last month or so and i'm really excited to share it with you guys so thank you so much for being here and i will see you in the next one bye guys